I cannot believe that this is the last day of 2016. Oh my god! Hey guys, I'm Elizabeth and welcome to the Lardy. Yes, I still have all my Christmas stuff up. I don't know what to put on my shelf, so I'm leaving it for now. I am so very sorry that this video was not up on Thursday. I got sick this week and was unable to film before I had to go to work on Tuesday, so here it is today. Happy Saturday. Tomorrow is 2017. What? And in case you haven't figured it out by now, we are doing resolutions slash goals of what you want to accomplish in 2017. I'm not gonna lie. 2016 kind of sucked. So here's to hoping for a much better, amazing 2017. Sure, there was some really great things that happened in 2016. I got my IBS under control. My husband and I celebrated our one year anniversary. We got a chameleon. Donald Trump became president. That's not a good thing. You're right. My bad. And there was also a lot of shitty things that happened in 2016. Donald Trump became president. I'm not gonna get into it all because that's not this video. So here's what I wanna get out of 2017. I am hoping with our income tax returns, I can get a new camera and a microphone. Those of you who don't know, I use my iPhone 6 to film these videos. What? <laughs> yes, I do. And I have a snowball microphone for my audio. What up? This is actually my second snowball mic. I had one that I used two years ago. It worked, but it would give me weird crackleys. So I got another microphone and it just completely stopped working like out of the blue. I had been using it for months and then all of a sudden it's just like, nope, and stopped working. So I got a new snowball because they work really good. So I'm just going to use this until I have enough money that I can get a good microphone. I'm very new to the whole camera world with this kind of thing. So if you have any good suggestions of cameras, a thousand dollar range, then please let me know because that's like the max I want to spend is a thousand dollars right now. I mean, later in life, if my YouTube gets bigger and starts growing, of course I'm going to upgrade, but right now a thousand is a good range for me. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Another kind of equipment thing I want to upgrade is I want to get a ring light. Right now I have soft boxes, which I got this year, which made such a big difference in my videos. And I used to use my dad's work light like one of these things and it gave such a weird yellowish color that i hated how they looked but i didn't have any lighting and then i got these bad boys and they are amazing i'll leave a link in the description if you want to get them it was only 50 bucks for the set this might be pushing it a little bit but i would really like to reach 5,000 subscribers next year <laughs> what but you're not even at 2,000 this year your point I have seen YouTubers grow from less in a very short amount of time and I'm just hoping and praying that by the grace of God, someone will find me and be like, flourish, flourish my little bird and I'll just soar away. <laughs> This got weird, but yes, I'm hoping and praying that I can reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2017. If I get more, I would probably die, but that's my goal. I want to continue posting regularly. Tomorrow will be a year that I have been posting consistently on my main channel. <sighs> I'm super proud of all of my videos and all of my content, and I feel like this year I have grown so much on YouTube personally. I'm so happy with my main channel. Last year my channel was still a gaming channel, but now it's turned into this kind of thing where I just do sit down vlogs. And my god, do I like it so much better. Before, I didn't show people my videos. Who wants to sit there and watch a 15 to 30 minute video of someone playing a video game when you're sitting right beside them? Not me. Now I show them these because I think they're funny and I put a lot of time into them. I'm very proud of them and other people enjoy them. So yeah, I show people my videos a lot. I want to start doing covers again. I started last year around this time doing covers. I didn't have a job last December, so I spent the entire month of December stockpiling videos so I could post five videos a week through January and February. I did it. I was really super proud of myself. I posted a cover every Wednesday. I had a gaming video on Mondays and Fridays, and then Sundays I had a video, and then I would upload another gaming video if I had too many. I was really proud of the consistency I had, and I miss doing covers. And now that I have this microphone again, I think I'll be able to do it. I couldn't figure out the old microphone to get all of the settings correct to record covers, so I'm really hoping that with another snowball, I can do some more covers. Those 
of you who don't know, I'm a Twitch streamer, and I just started doing it in like August of this year, and I haven't been very consistent with it. It's been really difficult with my work schedule because I do blocks, so I'm gone, and I get that I could set a schedule, but for me, that makes me a little bit anxious. I was doing Vlogmas this month, so it's just been crazy trying to keep up with all of my videos and to do Twitch. Yeah, I realize I'm making excuses. Beth, stop it. Do it. You're the only one stopping yourself. But I would really like to do it consistently and at least stream twice a week for January into February. If I can up it, that'd be great. But that's my goal, is at least twice a week. I want to collab with more YouTubers in 2017. I did a couple collabs this year which were really fun and I really enjoyed doing it and I got to meet new creators and get a better relationship with them and that's what I want. I want to have this community that is just fantastic. I love YouTubers. Like, <laughs> I love all you guys. One of the biggest things I want to do in 2016 is go to a YouTube convention. Whether it be Playlist or VidCon or both, I want to go to them. I have been wanting to go to VidCon since it started, what, eight years ago? Is that, is that when it was? Eight years ago? I was young, so I wasn't able to just go by myself to LA. My mom wasn't going to go with me, but now I'm a married adult and have my own money and I can go to LA if I damn well please. And I please. So here's to hoping that I can go to VidCon this summer. I have not talked about this on Lardy, but I've talked about it somewhat on my main channel. I even vlogged it the last time I did it, but I have auditioned for The Voice twice in my life so far. And I'm really, really hoping that I am able to go audition again this summer. I didn't get to last summer because things were crazy with work and whatnot and just didn't have the extra money at the time. So I'm really hoping that I can save up enough that I can go to VidCon, Playlist, and probably New York to audition for The Voice. I'm gonna spend a lot of money in 2017. This year, I really wanna get my anxiety under control. I made a whole video on my main channel about dealing with social anxiety and what it's like for me. I need to do something about it. I haven't yet. I haven't had the extra time or money to go to the doctor and get a prescription or anything like that, but I'm working up to it. I'm super anxious to go to the doctor and talk about it, so that makes it really difficult whenever you're too anxious to go talk about your anxiety. And lastly, this is probably the biggest thing of my life that I want to do next year. I have not told my family other than my mother, but this year I'm going to be auditioning for American Musical and Dramatic Academy to hopefully go to their LA campus this fall to get a degree. <sighs> I get so nervous thinking about this. I have to audition January 29th, my God. <laughs> And not too many people know this about me, but I got accepted to this academy, but I was going to go to the New York campus. I had been accepted in like April, but I didn't know that I got accepted. I didn't receive a letter or anything. So I started looking at other options closer to home. I had just started dating Shane in March of that year. I didn't want to leave him. And I was also kind of discouraged that I hadn't been accepted. And then I got a call from my counselor, I guess he was, and I talked to him and he's like, you've been accepted. I'm like, what? <laughs> I didn't know that I was accepted. And then I was just in this awful headspace for about a month trying to decide whether I wanted to just leave everything I've ever known, go by myself to New York City and do a four year program and get a degree or go to a school near home, which was only about half an hour away that I really just did not have my heart in, but stay with Shane and my family. And I got Navi because I stayed here. Looking back, I wouldn't change my decision because I've made out a lot in these past three years since I didn't go up there. But every single day, I can't help but wonder where I would be if I had went. So 2017, I'm hoping that I can get accepted again and Shane's willing to move the entire way across the country with me so I can go to school in LA. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to either move to New York or LA and just flourish. Like that's been my dream for so long. I've always wanted to be a singer or actor or do something in the entertainment business. So that's why YouTube is such a big thing for me. It's my creative outlet and it lets me be who I am in this tiny shitty little town that has no opportunities for me here. That's terrifying. I'm super excited, but I'm also really, 
really scared to do it. It's such a big thing to think about just getting up and moving the whole way across the country with no job out there, hopefully at school, no house. Like it's just, there's so much that worries me, but there's so much to gain from me doing this. I'm done rambling. I will make a main channel video about it if I get accepted and I will probably cry and freak out. I am going to open my letter on my main channel to see whether I got accepted and I'm going to be very sad if I don't and I open it up on camera. Oh my god. <laughs> but I'll do it either way, okay? Nope, not fingers crossed. I'll do it. I'll do it. And that's what I want to get out of 2017. Now I'm sure there are more things that I'm not thinking about right now. But those are the main things that I am really excited for 2017 for. There's something else that's happening in 2017 that I don't want to talk about now. That's a main channel video, but subscribe to The Real Imaginary and you will see that I'll probably post it in March. It's a really, really, really big deal and I'm really excited for it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long and rambly. Please comment down below and let me know what your New Year's resolutions or goals are for 2017 and I will happily read them and like them and reply. I can't believe tomorrow's 2017. Oh my god. Have a happy new year and be responsible. Be safe. I'll see you next year. Lardy loves you. Bye bye now.